Hey, my name is Keith Gruber. I'm a guitar teacher and bass teacher in Greenville, South Carolina, and I also teach online via Skype. So uh, today I'm going to do a lesson about the B section of More Love by Victor Wooten. This isn't the melody line, you know, the, uh, you know, the intro or all that stuff. This is the section after that, the arpeggios, which took me you know, a while to figure out, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, first thing you need to know is that it is not tuned in standard tuning. Um, what I've done is I've actually taken, the, he, he plays the song on a different kind of bass that you know, is kind of like a regular bass with a capo on the fifth fret. Um, what I've done is I've just detuned the entire thing five half steps so that I can play it with almost a standard tuning. So what I've got is E, A, D, and then I've detuned the G down to an F. So that's what you need to get all those harmonics and stuff to work. Um, so anyway, uh, let me play it for you first and then I'll walk you through it. So let me try that again. way to think about it is to learn the left hand first and really get good at the left hand um, and then you know pl practice it with the metronome practice it very slowly until you can get very rhythmic and uh, without having to think about it a lot because the right hand is really where all the, the crazy stuff is going on so the left hand just sounds like this it's in five four so you get four five So it is fourth string, sixth fret, then third string, eighth fret, and then second string, tenth fret. The rhythm four, five, and then okay. And then everything just slides up two frets, and you do this power chord. So it's eighth fret, tenth fret, tenth fret. So you have four, five, and then back to this. So it does that for most of the of that section. Um, he eventually, after after doing a couple times through with the right hand, uh, he'll, he'll start playing the first and second uh, string with the right hand. So that kind of negates the need to to do that pinky note. Yeah, technically, I guess he could still play it. It's just going to be covered up by the right hand. Um, you know, if it makes it easier, a little bit more mechanical, so you don't have to think about it so much. Um, so now the right hand, uh, pretty easy, mostly, um, until it gets some of the later stuff, but it just goes like this, four, five, one. Just go second string, twelfth fret, first string, twelfth fret, and then the middle finger slides up to the sixteenth fret. Four, five, one. And it does that several times in a row. I think it's three times in a row. So you four, five, one. where you go 12th fret up to the 16th fret with the first string, but then with the second string, with your index finger, you're just going to go 12 to 14. So you have to go kind of like this. You get 12, 12 to 16, 12. So you kind of want to think of it as kind of like, it's almost like two different chords, like that. Just very mechanical. So you have two different shapes. And then... So you get 
this wrong one. First string goes 16, 17, or sorry, 14, 17, and then second string goes 14, 15, so like that. And then lastly, this is just like the other 12 to 16 and 12 to 14. play it through one more time kind of slowly and see how it goes. Hopefully that is helpful. Um, like I said, check out my website. You can read more about my bio and all the other kind of stuff there. And you can also uh, find my open time slot that I have for lessons. And we can either hook up by you coming to Greenville, South Carolina, or you being in Greenville, South Carolina, coming to my office. Or, like I said, we can do lessons over Skype. So, uh, thank you very much. Hope that helps. And that's it.